everyone to our new video hope you are doing well my name is Notorious and I'll show you today how to progress faster in the game I've tried to keep this video as short as possible although I was recording for almost two days because of the trophy hunt and great helping to the event first of all big shout out to my Zuba family the brawlers community they encouraged me to make this video I've chosen this event because I wanted to show you on, on one example how to do events, finish in top 5%, get a free character and other awesome rewards as a legendary crate or an epic item. First thing to do, you have to drop the amount of trophies on one of your strongest characters. I would suggest Skippy, Henry or Nyx. I prefer personally to drop Henry because he is super fast, has low HP and it makes him easy to drop. As you can see, I've been trying to kill other players while I'm dropping so I can earn some extra points for my battle pass. There are two ways of dropping. You can do it alone, playing solo full like in this footage, or squad up with your friends, playing duo or trio. Oh snap, that <laughs> cheat stole my kill. Okay, let's die real quick, and done. And as you can see, I've lost 11 trophies in just like 30 seconds. Sorry, Korn can't play right now. Big shout out to Korn and his little brother Jaws, two of the youngest members of our family. In the next footage, you'll see that I squad up with Smelly Cat. Big shout out to Smelly Cat to show you how to drop uh, trophies in squads, in duo or trio. It's simply like solo full. It's a bit more fun, but you'll you'll lose like three trophies less per game. And I just forgot to mention uh, best items to use while dropping are of course jungle boots, uh, holy sandals, coffee, and I would suggest uh, mitra shotgun if you wanna kill some other players before you die, or uh, clown knows if you want to find out is your card legendary card so next topic uh, earning points there are three different ways to earn points in event like this and that are uh, first of all solo light winning second of all and my favorite uh, winning uh, while helping others to reach grandmaster and the third option, third way to earn points is like just uh, helping others uh, to fast up their crates and that's it. So let's talk a bit about uh, solo full. Uh, uh, to, uh, to be honest, I don't really like this, uh, this style of playing because I, I kinda, kinda find this style of playing really unfair to newcomers because they are like probably level 4, level 5 and they don't even have items already upgraded and when you play against them it's like too easy to play and too boring to play against them but if you decide to play solo light uh, I would uh, suggest to use Adrenaline Shot, Jungle Boots, Nitro Shotgun maybe, Vampire Teeth. Uh, I'm using uh, right now uh, Holy Sandals, Jungle Boots, and Nitro Shotgun and Adrenaline Shot. But you can change it to uh, whatever you like to use. I like to be able to shoot while I'm in the water. I will skip now to end of the fight because I want to keep this video as short as possible. Let's talk now about big teams, so to say squads. As you can see, there are four of my friends, clanmates, here in this video, in this footage. 
Cardog, Zubaru, ZX Zhu, and Bonjour. As you can see, we are always going first to take some medkits to have two medkits so we can play uh, without we can go in into battle without any problems without thinking if we're gonna die or not and taking some weapons from the guards oh sorry car dog <laughs> i didn't mean to take that golden spear without you so uh, for team squads i would team fights i would recommend suggest highly suggest to use the defibrillator because you never you, you can never know when one of your teammates gonna fall down when you need to revive him like as soon as possible because they're they're gonna be of all, always tough battles and you just you just need all your members to be alive to make more damage to opponents as you can see we we didn't even meet any teams by now and there are 18 players in the game still uh, there is one nix down and there is one only hiding in bushes so they are down that was like pretty easy they were, they were like level 8, level 7 and what did I suggest is if you are lower level like level 8 or 9 you can use you can use uh, knockback items uh, so you can you disallow your opponents to get closer to you so that was like pretty easy win we all get we all get 60 points for that win for event and i got 32 points for that win but uh 32 trophies for that win and last but not least helping and boosting crates that means you have to help your clan mates uh for this one uh you really need to have a uh, like really 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 active clan so you can got some help from your uh, clan mates and you can help them to as well to open their crates faster so let's see what we got here today event is over i've been, i've been playing so to say dropping two days every so full and we have five top five percent that's nice with not just 9000 points a bit more 9300 and something well i've got one legendary crate 50 tokens because i have all characters one epic item instead of one epic item i got 5k coins and 3k 3000 uh, event tickets so that's it for this video big shout out once again to my brothers family especially to gangsta and mama bear thank you for watching this video hopefully you got some helpful tips especially the newcomers to the game to the topic uh, events uh, expect more videos from us in next few weeks probably one or two videos per week I will leave down in the description link from our Facebook and Instagram. Go there, like us, follow us, subscribe on the channel, comment and of course share. Thank you once again, be smart, stay safe and have fun playing Zuba. Every time the beat drops